A number full Wednesday students, join me as we learn how to count, solve, and enjoy math. This is Teacher Julie, and welcome to our class. Let's take a look at this problem. Ray sold 35 tickets for a school play. Adult tickets were sold for 50 pesos and children tickets for 35 pesos. He collected a total of 1,450 pesos. How many of each kind of ticket were sold? To answer questions like this, we need to think of two equations to represent the relationships stated in the problem. This leads us to our discussion for the day, which will be about linear equations. As we learn how to solve linear equations, we will answer these two questions. First, what is the system of linear equations? Second, what should we remember in solving linear equations using elimination method? Are you ready kids? Come on and let us begin our number full journey. Let's try to answer the problem earlier. Ray sold 35 tickets for school play. Adult tickets were sold for 50 pesos and children tickets for 35 pesos. He collected a total of 1,450 pesos. How many of each kind of ticket were sold? In order to find out how many of each kind of ticket were sold on the problem earlier, we need to recognize that we are dealing with more than one variable and likely more than one equation. There are two quantities suggested in the problem. One is the number of adult tickets that you may represent by x. The other is the number of children's tickets that you may represent by y. Now let us look at the relationships stated in the problem. The total number of tickets sold can be represented by the equation x plus y is equal to 35. The total collection from the cost per kind of ticket can be represented by the equation 50x plus 35y is equal to 1,450. Together, the system consisting of the two linear equations in two variables can be written like this. The two equations make up a system of linear equations in two variables. Notice that the brace is used to indicate that the equations form a system. A collection of two or more linear equations, each containing one, or more variables is called a system of linear equations. In solving a system of linear equations in two variables, we can use the elimination method. Here are the steps in solving a system of linear equations in two variables using the elimination method. First, write both equations in standard form ax plus by is equal to c. Second, multiply water both equations by non-zero constants to create opposite coefficients for one of the variables. Third, add the equation from step 2 to eliminate one variable and solve for the remaining variable. Fourth, substitute the known value found in step 3 into one of the original equations to solve for the other variable. Fifth, Check the solutions for both equations and write the answer as an ordered pair. Let's go back to the equations earlier and solve it using the elimination method. For step 1, write both equations in standard form ax plus by is equal to c. x plus y is equal to 35. 50x plus 35y is equal to 1,450. For step 2, multiply one or both equations by non-zero constants to create opposite coefficients for one of the variables. To eliminate x, we will multiply the first equation by negative 50. We get negative 50x minus 50y is equal to negative 
For step 3, add the equations from step 2 to eliminate one variable and solve for the remaining variable. We eliminate the x column and then negative 50y plus 35y is equal to negative 15y. Then negative 1750 plus 1450 is equal to negative 300. Then we divide both sides by negative 15. Then the answer is y is equal to 20. For step 4, substitute the known value found in step 3 into one of the original equations to solve for the other variable. So, x plus 20 is equal to 35. x is equal to 35 minus 20. Then the answer is x is equal to 15. For step 5, check the solutions in both equations and write the answer as an ordered pair. x plus y is equal to 35. 15 plus 20 is equal to 35. 35 is equal to 35. Then, 50x plus 35y is equal to 1,450. 50 multiplied by 15 plus 35 multiplied by 20 is equal to 1,450. 750 plus 700 is equal to 1,450. 1,450 is equal to 1,450. The solution set of the system is 15 and 20. Can you solve this one as well? For step 1, write both equations in standard form ax plus by is equal to c. Negative 10x plus 10y is equal to negative 10. 5x minus 5y is equal to 5. For step 2, multiply one or both equations by non-zero constants to create opposite coefficients for one of the variables. To eliminate x, we will multiply the second equation by 2. We get 10x minus 10y is equal to 10. For step 3, add the equations from step 2 to eliminate one variable and solve for the remaining variable. We simply eliminate the x column, then 10y minus 10y is equal to 0. Negative 10 plus 10 is equal to 0. 0 is equal to 0. Notice that both variables were eliminated. The system of equations is reduced to the identity 0 is equal to 0. Therefore, the two original equations are equivalent and the system is dependent. Hence, the solution set of the system is x and y such that negative 10x plus 10y is equal to negative 10 or x and y 
such that 5x minus 5y is equal to 5. Fantastic students! Now, let's go back to our two questions earlier. A collection of two or more linear equations, each containing one or more variables, is called a system of linear equations. Here are the steps in solving a system of linear equations in two variables using the elimination method. First, write both equations in standard form ax plus by is equal to c. Second, multiply one or both equations by non-zero constants to create opposite coefficients for one of the variables. Third, add the equation from step 2 to eliminate one variable and solve for the remaining variable. Fourth, substitute the known value found in step 3 into one of the original equations to solve for the other variable. Fifth, check the solution for both equations and write the answer as an ordered pair. You did great! I hope you have learned a lot about solving linear equations today. If you did, click thumbs up and share this video to help students like you to count, solve, and enjoy math. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. This is Teacher Julie and see you on our next number full and stay.